Welcome to a video introduction of our Biominerals Technologies Portable Mini Seed Treater. As you can see, it is a very simple device with a tank, a battery powered pump, and the battery all mounted to a dolly for easy mobility. We have a couple of variations of the pump, but it's always mounted below the tank, and there are two liquid paths coming out of the pump. There is the spray hose and a recirculation hose. The spray pressure is regulated by controlling how much liquid flows through the recirculation hose. There is a gate valve on the recirculation hose mounted to the handle of the dolly. By opening and closing this gate valve, you can regulate the pressure through the spray hose. To increase the spray pressure, close the gate valve. To reduce the spray pressure, open the gate valve. Very small movements can make a big difference, so adjust it carefully. At the end of the spray hose is a standard nozzle assembly with replaceable tips. We always use steel insert tips or solid steel tips due to the abrasive nature of the soil biology boost. The assembly has some magnets on the bracket that can be used to fasten the spray tip to the base of an auger and treat the seed as it is pulled in and loaded. Included with the mini seed treater kit is a bucket and a mixing paddle. This is used to blend the seed treatment liquid with the dry soil biology boost powder. Always mix in the bucket first before pouring the seed treatment into the spray tank. If the blended liquid sits for any time, it quickly separates, so you will need to mix it up again before pouring it in. Once you have blended the ingredients, pour the blended liquid through the provided bucket sieve. This will filter out any unblended particles or larger debris like seed that may have gotten in the seed treatment blend. Now that you're familiar with the components, let's show you an example of how it can be used. It is not uncommon for some of the smaller farmers around here to bring us two to three bulk sacks of seed to be treated. We have large-scale seed treatment equipment that we can certainly use, but it really isn't worth it for just a couple sacks or so. In these cases, we simply use two forklifts and treat the seed as it flows from one sack to another. The first step when treating from bag to bag is to establish the flow rate of the seed. You can see that we have a metal band around the output spout of the bag to restrict the flow here. If I just dump one bag into the next, I can empty it completely in under two minutes. That's over 1,000 pounds per minute of seed and I can't spray the seed treatment fast enough to treat that much. With the restricting band, it slows the flow down to a more manageable rate. We clock the time it takes to empty the bag and divide the weight of the seed by the time to empty to establish the flow rate. For example, if it takes me four minutes to empty a 2,000 pound sack, then the seed is flowing at a rate of 500 pounds per minute. Once I have the seed flow rate, I consult my spray charts and determine the tip and pressure to use to apply the appropriate amount of seed treatment. At 500 pounds per minute, applying 16 ounces per hundred weight, I would need to spray 80 ounces of blended seed treatment each minute. Using an 8010 tip, I would need to spray between 12 and 15 psi for that flow. The first step is to adjust the spray pressure. Point the tip back into the tank and turn the pump on. Adjust the gate valve until the pressure is at the desired setting. Then, using a measured container of some sort, test the flow rate by timing a minute of spray and collecting it in the container. Make sure it is at the 80 ounces we need, or whatever your flow requirement is. If it is too much or too little, simply adjust the pressure and try again. Once you verify the flow rate, you're ready to treat the seed. When you first start spraying the seed, First, start the seed flow and give it a few seconds to coat the bottom of the lower sack. Then, just put the nozzle into the seed stream and turn the pump on. Just keep spraying until you're out of seed and then turn the pump off. While spraying, it's a good idea to periodically agitate the seed treatment mixture with the mixing paddle just to keep the soil biology boost from settling. It is also a good idea to have someone monitor the spray pressure. If the pressure spikes, it generally indicates reduced flow through the spray nozzle, some kind of obstruction. If the pressure doesn't go back down, you may need to stop the seed, turn off the pump, and clear the spray tip. This is a simple way to treat smaller amounts of seed. However, we also have farms that use this same mini-treater to treat truckloads of seed. 
they simply place the spray nozzle at the base of the transfer auger and spray the seed as it passes through. By continually replenishing the spray tank, they can use this little unit to spray all day long. There are many different ways to treat the seed. Our little mini seed treater is only one method. We also have a large trailer mounted seed treater by USC that can be used to easily treat truckloads of seed. You can dump tote sacks of seed into the hopper or you can run a transfer auger from the truck or storage bin into the seed hopper. From the hopper, the conveyor carries the seed up and drops it past the atomizer, which sprays the seed treatment at a computer controlled rate, applying an even coat of blended seed treatment. The treated seed is collected in the drum, which tumbles the seed to even out the coating before it drops out onto the exit conveyor. The exit conveyor carries the seed up and into the waiting truck for planting, or into the bags for storage. Whatever you use to treat your seed, the important point is that you do treat it. As one of the main pillars of a successful crop plan, no seed should go into the ground without Biominerals Technologies seed treatment on it.